Plenty of parents and children are spending this March break on family activities like a trip to the zoo. One British Columbia couple has taken that idea to a whole other level. For years, they've been taking their kids all over the world while they record animals in their natural environments. Tonight on Only in Canada, we take you to Vancouver to meet that family who's turned a passion for wildlife into a way of life and who've now turned their cameras on Wild Canada. For more than three decades, Jeff and Sue Turner have been recording images like this, traveling the world, making award-winning documentaries. Along the way, they had two children. We wanted to keep our family together as much as we could, so we just thought, well, let's just take the kids with us. We would help carry camera gear. We were also asked, how should we film this? You know, what do you think of this shot? You know, we were always asked our opinion. Those kids are now 19 and 22. When I was, you know, six or seven, I remember was kind of offered the option, you know, you can, you know, go into kindergarten and regular school if you want, that's fine. Or, you know, you can travel with mom and dad. You, we could do distance education correspondence so we could take school with us. And I thought, well, this isn't a very hard question. <laughs> like, <laughs> They're still working with their mom and dad, and this time the documentary is about their country. We've always wanted to do a series about Canada, and uh, fortunately no one has ever done it. So for three years, the Turners, along with a crew of about 60, worked on this four-part series. A lot of wildlife shows these days, especially, you need another, mm -hmm. another level to that. It's not mm -hmm. just about the wildlife and the pretty pictures. You want to have a story to back it up. Mm -hmm. And the story kind of evolved out of our research and looking at the way human beings have influenced the natural landscapes. But to shoot wildlife, you have to be patient, waiting for that perfect moment. Oh, maybe the beavers, like two weeks? Yeah, two, two weeks. weeks. The beavers keep a submerged larder of willow and aspen in their pond so they don't have to venture out above the ice. Away from the main herd, a lamb is in real danger. But Sue Turner didn't worry about her children in the wild. No, I, I, <laughs> I never did. With one exception. My scariest moments were probably in little bush planes mm. out there flying in, in, in tricky conditions. My scary moments have never been around animals. It was the animals that taught them the most valuable lessons. It's really important in the future as we continue on um, that we think about all the choices that we make so that we can best sort of honour and respect uh, the country that we live in. Choices that will impact Canada's landscape for generations to come. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Vancouver. And you can watch that four-part series, Wild Canada, starting this Thursday on The Nature of Things with David Suzuki. That's at 8 p.m., 8.30 in Newfoundland.